Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to make a color mixing chart using 10 different shades from Winsor & Newton Cotman series. This is a wonderful exercise to understand the colors that you already own and create beautiful shades using those colors. In fact, I would say such exercises are so good for relaxing your mind. Here I'm going to use 10 different shades from Winsor & Newton Cotman series and if you want to follow along with me, I would recommend using the colors that you have or some uh, like primary colors or three or four shades, whatever you want to use. You don't have to use the same colors that I'm using here. So let's talk about the supplies first. The paper that I'm using is Canson XL cold press paper and you can use any watercolor paper you may have. Just make sure the paper that you're using is at least 300 GSM in weight. Then we need two jars of water, one for warm colors and another one for the cool colors. The reason that I'm using two jars is we are going to do a lot of mixing of colors and the water will get muddy very soon. Then we'll need a roller, a pencil and an eraser to draw the grid. The brush that I'm using is a flat brush from Craft Tamu. Uh, you can use any brush that you want to. I'm using an old cotton cloth for blotting excess paint on my brush and then a palette to mix the colors and finally the colors of my choice. For this exercise, I took out all the colors that I had from one brand, but that's completely a personal choice. You can also go for only three primary colors. So let's get started. Here I created 11 by 11 squares grid. The top row and the leftmost rows are for writing the names of the colors. And I simply wrote the names in the same sequence on both the sides so it doesn't get confusing. So now if you look at the grid, the same colors intersect in the diagonal of the grid where we will put our paint straight from the tubes. And how I divided this chart is I'm going to swatch the top right side of the diagonal with the highest tone of the pigment and the lower left side with the light pigment. That means I'm just going to use more water and less pigment. So the next step is to just take out the paints from the tube and I'm, go I'm just going to pour the paints on my palette and then I'll start swatching the pure pigments first on the diagonal of this grid. So now I'm going to just activate the paint and start swatching. So if you look at the diagonal of this grid, you will see that the squares are divided into two halves. So the first, uh, the top one is going to be a little darker. That means I'm going to use the full strength of the paint and the lower portion, I'm going to use the diluted paint. That That's the one thing that I wanted to show here, like I'm just doing with this cadmium yellow. So I'm just trying to be very careful with the sides but it, it's okay if uh, the colors mix with each other that is fine and there's one more thing that i did not do here is i did not leave any gap between the squares many artists when they create the color charts they leave some gap between the squares which makes it more uh, neat and it looks very you know uh, very neat and very organized i realized this later when i was done with the chart if you want, you can just go ahead with some gap between those squares. So you can see that the lower portion is a little lighter as compared to the upper one. So I'm going to do the swatching of all the pigments on the diagonal and I'll just speed up the video.
all right so now we are done with the swatching of the pure pigments now let's talk about mixing so if you look at the second square here you will see that cadmium orange and cadmium yellow are intersecting here and the same thing we can see under the yellow square so that means we have two squares for each mixture here in the chart so instead of going uh, with the same value of the same mixture what we are going to do is uh, going to follow the same rule as we did for the pure pigments we are going to divide that this chart into two parts so the lower part is going to be more dilute and the upper part is going to be with more value of the mixture of those pigments
all right guys so our chart is ready and you can see that with only 10 uh, tubes of colors we created almost like 45 shades with their uh, um, lesser values or you know transparent values so this is a really good exercise if you're just starting out and you have a limited color palette although i won't say like 10 tubes or 10 colors are limited they are a lot so i would recommend if you're just starting out with watercolors if you can you can just start with three four colors like red blue and yellow or maybe uh, cyan magenta and yellow and create the charts for only three primary colors this is a really really helpful exercise to understand how many colors or how, how many shades that you can create with only a few limited colors that you may have at hand and I want to mention this again that please do keep a little gap between the squares that will make your chart very neat and clean so in future if I make another chart like this with any other set of brands or something like that so I'll make sure that I show how I create the grid so that's all for now and if you have any questions or any suggestions for upcoming videos please do leave them in comments and I would love to know what you guys want to see on my channel and for now goodbye and have a good time